Hello, this is Michael Stahl, or Total Legend King, and welcome to number five of To Every Planet. Um, today, we are heading off to the purple planet, uh, Eve. It is slightly larger than Kerbin, so we're gonna have to pack for. So we're gonna have to prepare for a thicker atmosphere, which is why we have equipped with massive parachutes and weak engines. Um, Eve's atmosphere is about, I want to say, five times as thick as Kerbin's, uh, which means that we can parachute down fairly easily without much use of engines. Um, however, orbital mechanics around Eve are unforgiving, as it is, it has a lot more gravity than Kerbin. Uh, it's going to be the largest body that we will have orbited so far, besides the sun, of course. Setting up for the launch now. The, today we do not have Bob, Neilfred, and Barman. I remember their names. Yeah, I remember their names and we're not using them. Um, today we're using someone who's agreed to spend the rest of his life on EVE. Any of you who play KSP will know exactly why I'm not using these three. The point of EVE, or well not the point, but a side effect of going to EVE is that you are not coming back. It's kind of a given. Unless you can build something humongous, chances are you're not going to return from the purple planet. Eve is the Venus analog in the game. However, uh, while Venus has no moon, Eve has a small moon named Gilly, which we'll be going to some point in the series, probably later on, as it's one of the harder places to go to. So we're going to build up to it in the series. Um, Venus has no moon, and Venus is actually slightly smaller than Earth in real life, whereas Eve is slightly larger, at about 1.6 times larger than Kerbin. I've sped up the orbit, for getting into orbit for you, uh, just because that's a big waste of time watching that. Uh, if anyone's noticed, if anyone's watched my newer videos, I am trying to cut down on time in the videos so that everyone can watch it all the way through. Because I know I've had complaints like, oh, your videos take like 35 minutes and they take ages. So I, I listened. I listened. I'm cutting down on the time for my videos. So we've coasting up to the Apple Apps now at 55 kilometers. Nearly reached space. Uh, I don't. I can't see his name, so he who shall not be named uh, is taking his last looks. He's the last time he will ever experience the atmosphere of Kerbin. Unless one day I manage to design a rescue rocket around Eve, and when that day comes, I will I will make such a video out of that. I'll make the crap out of that video. Okay. So we are nearly in orbit as we boost to orbital velocity of 2200 meters per second. There we go. Stable orbit. The reason I use such a low orbit when I'm going to interplanetary missions is that the lower an orbit is, the higher your orbital velocity is. And since you have a higher orbital velocity, you need less delta V, or you need to burn for a shorter amount of time and waste less fuel, therefore, to break Kerbin's orbit, because you have a slight boost of, say, 300 meters per second relative to uh, if you were burning from the height of my space station. Uh, I will feature my space station in one of my videos. Uh, I've updated it a lot. Uh, it's called the CRKSS Kerbin Rise, and oh my god, it's amazing. I'm so proud of it. Okay. So, we're nearly around in Eve's sphere of influence, uh, entered now. We are back in real time, uh, because we want to actually see what goes on in some of this place. Um, you see, a problem that I have here is I accidentally, while trying to speed up my burn, I used Alt Time Warp, and I must have been turning when I pressed Alt. Uh, and when you Alt and turn, it changes the trim of your spacecraft. And you'll see what I mean when I take off SAS. If you actually look at the bottom left-hand side, you'll see... Um, on the bottom left hand side of the screen, the bottom left gauge, uh, it actually shows it's not it's not on the oh god, how do I describe this? It's not on the center and it 
basically just means I'm going to constantly spin. So you can see me trying to adjust for this, uh, because I'm, like, oscillating a bit here. And that's, that's me turning off my SAS, and I just go into this weird spin. If you can see the nav ball just going crazy. Yeah, so I kind of just spin out of control for a while, and then I go, hey, maybe, uh, maybe I should cut the video in a bit and fix this. And I think the key is Alt X. I will, I'll put this in the comments for anyone who's had problems with um, their trim. I think it's Alt X. I think that's what I did. But it took me a while because I had to use the wiki. <laughs> Just like any normal person, modern human does these days. Um, yeah, so I'm just demonstrating a lovely bit of spinning in space. You see the orange line there is where is the point that we are entering Eve's Sphere of Influence. And I fixed... I fixed the spin now. Uh, just kind of coasting in, getting ready. Uh, because our periaps, you can see it lowering, but our periaps should preferably be within 96 kilometers, as that's where the atmosphere starts. And we don't have uh, unlimited fuel, and so we want to aero capture around Eve and use its atmosphere, uh, the friction from its atmosphere, to slow us down to a orbital velocity instead of burning oodles of fuel. Lovely solar eclipse there. Evo Solar Eclipse. Coming down now, 630 kilometers. And we are in the atmosphere. Uh, use the atmosphere to slow us down because the atomic engine, it's not going to work as well. It's not as powerful. So you can see massive amounts of Delta V no fuel, best option. Lovely um, plasma uh, re-entry effects going on there. And as we rise back out of the atmosphere, uh, the the if, the acceleration on our rocket, it words, the acceleration on our rocket lowers, and we achieve a stable orbit. Well, well, I say stable. We we are stable at the moment, and we will do a small adjustment with our orbit uh, to ensure that we don't go back into the atmosphere. So we're doing that now. Uh, I will say one problem with aero captures are they are very hard to gauge and I would um, I would advise using an orbit calculator or a aero capture graph so you can make sure what kind of altitude you want to be ending up as because most of the time when you do this, you will uh, probably go too deep in the atmosphere and uh, end up just hitting the surface. Um, that, that's a lot easier to do than you'd expect. Um, you, don't, you, you don't have to go into the atmosphere as much as you'd think. It's surprising how effective the atmosphere is at slowing you down. Um, so just showing how far we've come in 8 minutes and 30 seconds 9 minutes orbital ballet there um, just setting up the solar panels so that we don't run out of fuel and we are going to have a small inspection of the spacecraft by good old what's his name Kerman Good old, what's his name? Uh, he has a bit of a, uh, a spaz moment. Can I say that on YouTube? I don't know. Uh, but he has a bit of a, uh, a episode. <laughs> and he flies away from the spacecraft uncontrollably. There you go. Look how happy he is. Yeah, well, you're never coming back to Kerbin. We didn't really tell him that when we launched, so, uh, <laughs> oops. Okay, checking the fuel levels now. Uh, before we 
head down to the surface of Eve, everyone. Now, uh, I may never have told you before, but Eve and I are not the best of friends. Eve and I don't get along very well. Uh, it's a mutual dislike, really. Uh, Eve's atmosphere goes, hey, that's not going to work, so I'm going to ruin this for you. And I go, fine then, Eve, so I'm just going to smash into you as fast as I possibly I mean, it's, it's a hate-hate relationship. There's no love. It's a nice color, though, so I guess, you know. But yeah, if you are planning on going to Eve, be very well prepared. Um, I would advise rec uh, relying on parachutes instead of rockets to slow you down. Uh, due to the high gravity and high atmospheric pressure. Um, it's kind of the theme of Eve is the atmosphere. And uh, so the point of this outpost here is to see how close we could get to the seas without actually landing in them. Um, and we land fairly close. Uh, you see here, though, the, these rockets. Due to the thick atmosphere, I'm just swiveling, pivoting on an axis. I'm trying as hard as I can to give any boost towards the ocean, because that that's quite a distance. That That's about 10 kilometers. So we don't make it close enough to actually include walking in this episode, but I'm sure in another episode I will feature the oceans of EVE. Uh, parachutes are opening now, as we go into a real-time landing. As always, uh, we're coming to real-time landing, and you can see just how just how effective eight parachutes really are on Eve. They are much more effective than any any rocket ever would be, except well, possibly the massive three-meter engines. But that's not the point. The point is, an interplanetary mission. You should use any advantage that you possibly can such as, we don't even really need rockets to land on this thing. A uh, lovely orange light. Uh, it's my preferred light colour. Don't know why. It just looks nice, and it stands out. Uh, you can see just a slight amount of rockets just to control the speed of the descent. And then, touchdown. Um, this, this video is a bit shorter than the other ones, uh, because of the fact that I don't need to return, and or can't. Uh, opening up the solar panels to our beautiful uh, EVE base, I must say. Gotta be said. Here we are, showing off the barometer. This is the g-force of the planet. That is the gravioli effect. And that is the temperature. Feel free to pause the video there. Uh, and go back if you want to actually learn what kind of forces you're dealing with when you're landing. Um, open up the ladder and we'll head down to the surface. No need to plant a flag this time. Just just because I've been trying to cut down on my flights. I've got some like 30 flights. Uh, plus, it's a bit boring to watch anyway. Um, episode 5, everyone. Just having a bit of a rundown. That's how high you can jump. Uh, just demonstrating the gravity there. Running out of time. Running out of time. Love the engine. So, guy, uh, five down, eleven to go. My name has been. I have been Michael Stoll, Total Thirteen King. See you guys next time. Bye.